Nearly every week in the United States, a monument to the Confederacy is violently removed from public view. What have they ever done to deserve this since 1865? Jefferson Davis, General P.G.T. Beauregard, General Robert E. Lee. For decades, these losers of the Civil War have suffered incredible torments. Graffiti, urination, vomit. Although that's just from being in New Orleans. There's no telling where they'll end up or how they'll be treated. New Orleans Mayor Mitch Landrow says, the monuments will immediately go into storage while the city determines how to give them new context. But why wait for the city when you can be giving them new context all on your own? Just look at General Robert E. Lee, bronze, fragile standing at just 16 feet tall and mounted onto a 60-foot pedestal. This little guy needs a forever home. What better home than yours? Show your African-American neighbors that you are willing to talk about the lost cause by having the only president of the Confederacy, Jefferson Davis, reaching out to them. Now, Jeffy is a little scared of the dark, so when night comes, just remember to turn on his nightlight. Just imagine General Beauregard, the man who led the attack that launched the Civil War, sharing the stage with audio animatronic Abraham Lincoln at Disneyland's Great Moments with Lincoln show. Wouldn't that be something? Or Beauregard and his horsey friend jamming with the famous Chuck E. Cheese band. <laughs> Happy birthday. Look, these monuments to the Confederacy are scared. They need guardianship. An angel, if you will. Will you be their angel? If so, please let us know in the comments what you plan to do with them. They need you now more than ever.